Well, there are some troubling allegations against Jason Kenney, the leader of the United Conservative Party in Alberta. It goes back to his bid for the leadership. Documents obtained by CBC suggested his campaign worked with another candidate to undermine Brian Jean, Kenney's main rival. CBC's Carolyn Dunn is on the story and joins us from early in the day in Calgary. Uh, Carolyn, thanks for joining us. Let's start with these documents. What do they reveal? Well, what we obtained was really a trove of emails, communications uh, that outline not just chit chat between the camp of uh, or campaign of. Uh, Jason Kenney and Jeff Calloway, but there was actual political direction. There was talking points. There were speeches that were written for for Calloway by the Kenney camp, and there were even ads that seemed to have been produced by Kenney's camp and given to the Jeff Calloway camp. We spoke to one of the people involved in uh, all of that, or most of that uh, correspondence going back and forth. It's Cameron Davies. He was a senior staffer with Jeff Calloway, and he authenticated the documents for us last night. And he also authenticated and told us about uh, a scheme to run Jeff Calloway as a so-called kamikaze candidate. Basically, Calloway would come in, gain some support, uh, do as much damage to uh, Brian Jean's campaign as possible. And then there was a planned date to drop out and all of Callaway's support could then go over to Jason Kenney. That was the plan, according to Davies, and that is what happened. Serious allegations. So what are we hearing from Jason Kenney and his party about all of this? Well, they sent out a statement late last night saying that uh, it's not unusual for there to be communications between camps, particularly in a ranked ballot uh, campaign like the one that was going on for the Alberta UCP leadership. Um, and that they say that there were no rules broken, no money exchanged hands, and everything was basically within the borders of, of uh, acceptable. An election due to take place in May in that province, although it presumably could take uh, place uh, any time now, depending on what the Premier decides. But what could these allegations, could these allegations become a big problem for Kenny? Well, you know, they might. Um, he has some pretty strong support. And even just looking at Twitter last night, uh, and, uh, you know, he, st he maintains some of that support. There's been a bit of a, a drip, drip, drip about you know, hijinks that may or may not have happened within the leadership contest. And so it's really unclear about whether it will inflict any damage to Kenny, but certainly Kenny's opponents in the election are going to uh, use this as, as ammunition and try and, you know, hammer home the point that uh, the leadership campaign, that there was a lot of hijinks in it and try and sow distrust, if you will, uh, in Jason Kenny and, uh, and the people who surround him. What are you looking for next on this story, Carolyn? Well, uh, there is an investigation already going on by Alberta's election commissioner. Uh, he, by legislation and, and will, doesn't have much to say about that. There have been a number of fines issued for various election uh, uh, missteps, if you will. But we do know, and, and CBC News confirmed on Friday, that... Uh, some of the things that the election commissioner has run across uh, have gone outside his purview. And so he has referred certain things that he has discovered uh, to the RCMP. So uh, this story is not over. Uh, there are more things we know that are being investigated. And uh, we're trying to dig up as much as we can for you, John.